Welcome to this tutorial on structure analysis. In this tutorial, we will learn to measure distance between atoms in the structure, show hydrogen bonds, identify nonpolar interactions, and rotate bonds in the residues to get different rotamers. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Chimera interface. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Here, I am using Ubuntu Operating System version 14.04, Chimera version 1.10.2, Mozilla Firefox browser 42.0, and a working internet connection. Here, I have opened a Chimera window. Using command line, open a structure of squalene synthase. It is a transferase enzyme with a PDB code 3W7F. On the command line, type open space 3W7F. Press enter. A model of the enzyme is displayed on the panel. Change the display to interactive one using presets menu. The protein is displayed as two copies. To delete one of the copies, type delete colon dot a. Press enter. To delete solvent molecules from the structure, type delete solvent. Press enter. In this structure, the ligand is farnesyl thiopyrophosphate. Label the ligand residues using commands. Type R label space ligand. Press enter. There are two farnesyl thiopyrophosphate, that is FPS for short, in this structure. The structures are shown in sticks display. Rotate the structure and zoom in. There are several side chains that can donate hydrogen bonds to phosphate oxygens of FPS. Place the cursor over the atoms in the side chain residues. Locate serine 21 residue. Now, let's measure the distance between oxygen of serine 21 and nearest phosphate oxygen of FPS. To measure the distance, select oxygen of serine 21 residue. While pressing Ctrl key, click on the side chain oxygen of serine 21. While pressing Ctrl and shift keys simultaneously, double click on the nearest phosphate oxygen of FPS. Select Show Distance from the context menu. Observe the panel. The distance between two atoms is displayed. Clear the selection. Similarly, measure distance between side chain oxygen of tyrosine and the same phosphate oxygen of FPS. The distances seem consistent with hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds with donor and acceptor distances of 2.2 to 2.5 angstroms are classified as strong, 2.5 to 3.2 as moderate, 3.2 to 4 as weak. Now select the ligand using select menu. Scroll down to residue option, click on FPS from the submenu. The easy way to find hydrogen bonds formed by FPS is to use the Find Hydrogen Bond feature from the Tools menu. Click on Find Hydrogen Bond in the Structure Analysis option. A H Bond Parameters dialog opens. Fix the color of the hydrogen bond by clicking on the colored box. Fix the line width to 3 for a thicker line. Click on the check box against Label Hydrogen Bond with Distance. Click on Only Find Hydrogen Bonds with at least one end selected and click on Write Information to Reply Log. Click on OK button. Observe the panel. Hydrogen bonds are shown as pseudo bonds of specified color and line width. Details of the bonds can be viewed on the Reply Log. Open Reply Log using Favorites menu. Information about each hydrogen bond is given here. Close the dialog box. If you want to remove the hydrogen bonds from the structure, on the command line, type 
the tilde symbol followed by H bond. Press enter. There is another feature in the tools menu under structure analysis option. It is find clashes or contacts. A dialog box opens. This feature identifies non-polar interactions such as clashes and contacts. Clashes are unfavorable interactions where atoms are too close together. Contacts are all direct interactions, polar and non-polar, favorable and unfavorable, including clashes. Let us identify contacts of FPS residues with all other atoms. Select FPS residue using Select menu. Click on Designate in the Find Clashes and Contacts dialog box. It shows 48 atoms designated. Click on the radio button against all other atoms. Set clash contact parameters to default contact. Under treatment of clash contact atoms, click on the following check boxes. Select, draw pseudo bonds, if endpoint atom hidden, and write information to reply log. Click on OK button. Observe the panel. All the contacts of FPS residues are shown. Open the reply log. Atom atom contacts are listed here. Close the dialog. Now let's display some clashes. Let us focus on the residue tyrosine 248. On the command line type focus space colon 248. Press enter. Clear the selection. Now, select Tyrosine 248 residue. While pressing the control key, click on any atom on the residue. Press up arrow key on the keyboard to select the entire molecule. Now, we will rotate the side chain Tyrosine 248 interactively and check for clashes. Display residues within 4 angstroms of Tyrosine 248. On the command line, Type display disp space colon 248 space z less than 4. Press enter. To display the clashes, select find clashes or contacts option from the tools menu. Click on designate. Click the button against all other atoms. Set the clash contact parameters to clash. The treatment of clash contact atoms to select, draw pseudo bonds, if end point atom hidden, and set the frequency of checking to continuously. Hide the dialog box. To rotate the side chain of tyrosine 248 interactively, while pressing the control key, double click on the bond that is attached to the ribbon. Choose rotate bond option from the context menu. A build structure dialog opens. Rotate the bond by dragging the pointer on the dial. Alternatively, click on the black arrowheads to edit the angle values. Observe the panel. As the side chain moves, new pseudo bonds are formed or disappear. To revert the bond back to the original position, click the entry under bond, choose revert. Again, click on the bond, then deactivate to make the bond no longer rotatable. Close the dialog box. We can compare all the rotamers of Tyrosine 248 using the option in the tools menu. First, select Tyrosine 248. Click on tools menu, scroll down to structure editing. Click on rotamers option. In the rotamer dialog box, Select Done Brack from the Rotamer library. Click on OK button. The Rotamers are shown as wire representation on the panel. Another dialog box opens. Click on the lines in the dialog box to display the Rotamer. Observe the panel. We can also detect clash and hydrogen bonds for the Rotamers. Click on Columns, then Add. 
Select Clashes. Click on OK in the dialog box. Now, to add hydrogen bonds, click on Columns, scroll down to Add and select Hydrogen Bonds. Click on OK in the Hydrogen Bonds dialog box. Observe the dialog. Two new columns are added. Now each rotamer forms several clashes, but no hydrogen bonds. Try finding rotamers by rotating bonds in a different residue. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to measure distance between atoms in the structure, show hydrogen bonds, identify nonpolar interactions, rotate bonds in the residues to find clashes and contacts, and compare different rotamers. For the assignment, open a structure of squalene synthase PDB code 3W7F. Rotate bonds in tyrosine 41 residue to determine clashes and contacts and compare the rotamers. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by LMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Rehlata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.